Hey guys, I'm here in Ottercrest, Oregon right now. We're gonna take a trip down to the beach and check out some of the tide pools and find out what we can see. So this is my wife, Michelle, and her grandpa, Kaggle. <clears throat> and there's Aunt Tony up front. Grandpa Kaggle is gonna be kind of our tour guide for today. He's been coming down to these beaches for decades and observing the different marine life down here. Um, he actually used to be an elementary teacher for many, many years, and he used to take his third grade students down to this very beach. They would take a field trip, load up a couple school buses, and have a whole bunch of little third graders uh, running around the beach, finding different little, um, different little pieces of marine life that he'll tell us a little bit more about today. So this is Ottercrest, Oregon. This is about halfway up the coast in Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, so right now we're at low tide. So all of that little land you can see out there in a few hours will be covered up by water again. Um, so to go tide pooling, you find a, a time where it's low tide and then just walk down and see what's in those pools down there. All right, so we are down here at the tide pools. They're really small and sneaky, but you can maybe see something called a jumping jackfish, which is a little fish. It's gonna make a quick, sudden movement out of here. There's one. Yeah, over on the other side, they were huge. There we go. Not sure if you guys can see them on camera or not. They're pretty tiny. There's a couple. You know, they're called limpets. And then once in a while you'll find one with a hole in it, right in the middle, it's called keyhole limpet. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Purple turban. He yep. doesn't look too purple, but yeah, see but if he comes out. They're, they're, if you look, at the, they're really dark and they're, they're turban snails. Hmm. Come on, baby, come out. We're not gonna hurt you. Oh, he's moving. Moving We've got a couple of sea stars under the rock here. He like lifted up his back. Can't see the whole body. They're being a little shy under there. So cool. All right, I'll put you down, buddy. Pretty beautiful. So we are here at about low tide now. And if you zoom in here, you can see right there is a big sea anemone. Saw a few of those yesterday, but none were nearly as big as that guy. When I drive with Michael, I'll occasionally and grab, uh, Michael. Alright, we got a big sea anemone there. Yeah. The smaller ones are. Mrs. Cochinson says she saw some yeah. purple urgents. Oh, look at those. Are those little crabs on the rock? So this red one that looks like a rock, that's what we've really been searching for. Yeah. Grandpa loves these guys. Hi, Dad. Yeah. This is called a, a gumbo chitin. And it's a, it is, has seven sections to it and it's it adheres to the suction to the ground and I can take it out oh. yeah and if if you will look at it you look inside here and once in a while it'll find a worm and the worm is this symbiotic relationship it keeps keeps this section nice and clean so that it doesn't get diseases yeah beautiful a gumboot kite good i'm glad we saw one yeah oh look at that what do you know what type of a crab that is no it's a cool one see his little eyes on there uh-huh oh. yeah 
Oh, there you go, buddy. That's pretty. All right, so we got a big blue heron out there. So he's just kind of creeping around the beach, seeing what he can find, looking for a little goody, some sort of a snail or a clam or fish. some a fish, some sort of sea life that he's gonna have for breakfast this morning. All right, so we got a bunch of different clams here. It's interesting when they're wet, they look really dark almost a black deep purple color and then when they dry out there they turn into a nice little lightish blue purple color so this is a sea anemone sometimes they're open and sometimes they're closed so you can see this one is open right now and then a lot of times as you touch them They'll close up. That one didn't really do it. That's a good one. There we go. Good. That was cool. You're ready. Suction <laughs> <laughs> to me. The kids are gonna laugh about that. <laughs> uh, I think you gotta get it again. It didn't really close. Yeah. Well, now you know what it feels like, so you shouldn't jump. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about wearing my sweatshirt with the top cut in it. It would have been easier. Do you want me to carry I'm your scared. camera? It, it, oh. Look at that. Found a really cool little crab in the rock here. And he was moving around pretty good. He's just holding still now to try to try to camouflage himself in there as a defense mechanism. I think he can probably feel our presence. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's gonna come up out of the water. Oh. This whole beach is just covered in those clam shells. You see a little fishing boat out there, and then a bigger fishing boat out past it. All right, we've got a nice little sea star underneath the rock here. So that's what we've been noticing. We kind of see them attached to the backside of rocks or like underneath the rock there. But it's crazy because everywhere you look, there's just different type of life, different type of plants, different type of animals. Some big, some small. Oh, I see a little sea urchin right here. Get my shadow out of the way. Oh, and it looks like there's another sea star right there on the side kind of tucked in all right so mrs coach jensen found a ton of sea urchins down here so you can see almost every hole in the rock is filled with a little spiky purple sea urchin right there we've got a pretty big sea star hanging out on the bottom of that rock there i see another one over there ton of sea urchins over there. There's just cool stuff all over. All right, so we've walked down the beach quite a ways. That's where we came from is that big corner over there. Now we're in this cool little area. 
we're gonna go into something called the Devil's Punch Bowl, which is a pretty, pretty big deal around here. Oh. A pretty big crab right here. Found a little sea star right here, hanging on to the side of the rock. Just a beautiful view out there. So that's about it for today not a lot of editing needed on this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned a couple things about uh, marine biology i had a really great time being here uh, thank you so much to grandpa kegel and to aunt tony for taking us down there and being great tour guides